So, liquid cooled SSDs. I mean, uh, liquid cooled M.2 NVMe drives. They look amazing, right? But who needs them? And what's the, what's the performance like? Do you actually need them? Well, here's my two cents on it. But we're in the UK, so it will be two pence. That wouldn't make sense, would it? Here's my two pence. Well, what does make sense is our segment to the sponsor. Are you sick of seeing activate Windows message on your desktop? Well, it's time to activate your Windows and do it cheap. Go on to whokeys.com where you can find official license keys not just for Microsoft but all sorts of game CD keys including Steam CD keys, Origin CD keys, Uplay CD keys and so on. If you're looking for Windows 10 Pro key for example then all you have to do is search for Windows 10 Pro, select the license and add it to the basket. Use the code TN20 to get a 20% discount. Once you have the license key on your email, click here, here, type in your license key, hit activate and you're all done. Check out whokeys.com in the description below and don't forget to use the code TN20 to get a 20% discount. So sorry I pulled the Linus on the intro there, but I just couldn't help it. It just kind of came out and I had to spit it out. And another thing is uh, thanks Team Group for sending out these SSDs so I can try them and uh, use them on a build and, you know, tell you guys about them. If you want to check them out, the link for this is in the description as well uh, as we're talking about this. Now, first of all, let me address the most important thing about these SSDs, which is the looks. Now, they look absolutely fantastic. Personally, me, I think they're the nicest M.2 drives you can buy, okay? Nicest, well, it's not the M.2 drive that looks nice, it's actually the, the coolant or the heatsink that, that looks nice or heat dissipation thing that looks nice, which is fantastic. I think this is the best thing about these. They look fantastic. Fantastic. You can make them any color you want and you can if you want to see me change the color You can click up there and you'll see a video where I changed them because from the factory they come blue But these are orange to fit this orange and black belt So if you want to do that check check it out Also, there is a little cover that you can slide on the SSD and that covers kind of the filling part on the side As well as the m.2 screw that makes it look very very slick and nice because often you've got the like heatsink on the, on the drives and then the heatsink only covers the drive but how like a little bit of the end of the M.2 drive or NVMe drive um, is actually out you can see the screw and the end of the drive whatever color that is but in this case it's all covered underneath that which I like it a lot okay I think it looks very very good what's the performance of this drive like so these are PCIe 3.0 drives okay and by the manufacturer looking over here they have marked that this specific model this is 512 gigabytes there's also 250 gigabyte version available as well as one terabyte I'll try to link that link them in the below uh, below as well but then um, the different sizes also have like different speeds for some reason mine over there is the middle bit one 512 gigabyte ones both of them and then read and write are advertised as 3400 megabytes read and 2000 megabytes write uh, on this one and then the 256 gigabyte one is 3000 megabytes write and 1000 sorry 3000 megabytes read and 1000 megabytes write speed the one terabyte one is faster on the write speed so 3400 megabytes on the read speed and 3000 megabytes on the write speed so when i did the tests what i got was 3000 megabytes read speed or 3100 almost megabytes read speed and 2400 megabytes write speed okay which i am very surprised to be honest because the write speed is 400 megabytes faster than the advertised version over here okay and i tested both of the drives and both of the drives gave me the same results about 3000 to 3100 megabytes read speed and write speed 3 2400 and something so easily over 2400 sometimes even grouping close to 2500 write speed which is very very surprising now if you're in the same case as me then when i put both of these drives in and tested them one of them only tested 1600 megabytes read and write and i was like whoa they've sent me a dodgy drive something's wrong here but no 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 that wasn't their fault it was my fault now when i switched the drives around and did the test again suddenly the other drive is slower and then the first drive is faster basically on certain motherboards the m.2 slots on the motherboard are limited on the bandwidth so this bottom one over there is pci 3.0 or 4.0 x2 slot which means that it is uh, slower than the middle one over there so 
the upper one is faster and the lower one is slightly so slower. But in my case, I'm using them for like, um, you know, project drive or cache drive or something like that. And 1,600 megabytes read and write speed is plenty fast for me because it's still about three times faster than any SATA SSDs you can find out there. It's plenty fast if you say so. But just like something to look up for if you really need those fast speeds or if, you, if you're looking for that, then that's what's happening over there. But comparing it to like a Sabrent Rocket 4.0 drive, which is like the OS drive over here, um, this is PCIe 4.0, um, it's obviously not as fast, but just like a comparison, what this is, if you don't know, Save it rocket over there. If I tested that one, I get like 5,000 megabytes. That's five gigabytes per second read speed and 4.2 gigabytes per second write speed or 4,200 megabytes per second uh, write speed. Now let's talk about the thermals of this drive, okay? Team Group mentions that these drives can be up to 10C um, lower temps on these operating temps when using these and uh, you know it looks like a good number but to be honest it's not really as much of a jump as anything's cheaper that you can go for sorry if my kids are loud downstairs because you can get a ten dollar like heat seek or something like that on amazon and it would give you similar results if not better results so basically it's not so much about the thermals that this has been designed for it's so much designed for actually the looks and not as much as the cooling performance, if that makes sense, because there is no way that this heat can actually be dissipated from this liquid. The heat will get trapped in the cooling liquid, but there's no actual way to for it to come out. But there's no way for this coolant to actually dissipate the heat or make it go away because uh, there is there's no way there's no like heat sink on top of it and you can't connect it to a loop if you have like a water cooling loop going on because it's just not meant for that there's only like a little filling pot on the side where you can fill it and empty the liquid uh, if you want to but that's that so basically the thermals aren't as impressive for it as the locks if that makes sense so another thing to mention here is the build quality which um, is very high the build quality I'm, I'm super happy with like working around with these drives and trying to empty them and I filled it again and it, honestly whatever it's been used for it, it just feels very high quality product you know there's nothing like you take it and you feel like oh, that's a bit cheap or something's looking off a very high-end product okay plus from the manufacturer you're gonna get a five-year warranty even if you change the liquid inside yourself the five-year warranty is in there which is fantastic so now let's talk about the size that might not be as good or something you should also know when buying this so first of all, the heatsink on it is quite big. So if you're planning to pack your PC or if you're using it on a small form factor build or some of the motherboards have an M.2 drive on the other side of the motherboard, you might be struggling fitting that drive on the other side of the motherboard between like the, the case panel and the motherboard. Also, even over here in this case over here, I had to use a soldering iron and actually melt away half of this uh, second PCIe full card slot kind of locking plastic over there. You can see it on this build video if you want to check it out. It is, it is a little bit tight when fitting sometimes over there and just when you're buying it it's worth probably buying of Amazon if it doesn't fit over there you can send it back say look sorry it, it didn't work or things like that so worth double checking if this drive is actually going to work with your motherboard in most some most of the cases is probably fine but in some cases it might not be even this graphics card on top of this card actually over here and uh, the top uh, M.2 is actually slightly bent or slightly on a on, a, on some kind of force uh, I don't think it's gonna make a massive deal over here and I tested it over and over again and I got the same speeds and the connections are fine but I can see that the graphics card is slightly pressing on it and I'm not sure if this worked with all of the graphics cards but on this uh, founders edition of uh, 2080 Ti it is slightly pressing on the top one of the M.2 drives. And another thing is that the liquid change might be a little bit of a work. It's not as easy as just, you know, opening the lid, it look, 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 just emb empties itself and then just kind of filling it. You have to kind of suck it out and there's a bit of a process that goes into that, but nothing that anyone can't do. So if you want to see me do it or just kind of learn from that, feel free to check it out. Also, you may need to fill it after a long period of time or something like that, because on the instructions on there, it said that sometimes over time, the liquid might get a little bit low and some 
somehow just evaporate so it's completely normal and you can do that you know team force actually gives you original uh, liquid within the box over there there's a little blue bottle where you can fill it up if you want to fill it with blue liquid obviously if you buy your own liquid you'll have more of it so you can do that but uh, it's probably worth saving some of these filling tools because over time you might need to fill it a little bit so conclusion what is it for then is there a massive performance improvement by having it liquid cooled not really it's more for the look so if you want an ssd that just is something you know you show your friends hey check out my ssd it looks fantastic if you want something that is more bang for buck it's probably worth checking out some other alternatives but it's definitely the nicest looking M.2 drive I have seen. And if that is something you're into, this is the one to go for. Links below, by the way. So I would use it for like more enthusiast and gaming builds and things like that. If, if you're doing that workstations, which this is actually, they work fine as well. Obviously there's no difference. It's advertised as a gaming, SSD gaming Cardia liquid. So there's no, no, no real reason why not to go with the workstation as well. If you're using it, obviously on the workstation, you're more concentrated on your work rather than looking at your pc but that's that so that was the wrapping up thanks very much guys for watching this video hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet hit that like button if you enjoyed this video it does make a difference thank you very much guys if you're in there thanks all of you who are in the bell squad nice to see you here hit that bell icon not to miss any videos if you want to check out the build how we did this build feel free to check that out on the channel as well and i'll meet you comment section below thanks for watching bye bye